Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna be covering a fractal that could be playing out on the hex Ethereum pair. Why are we covering this? Because there has been a move that played out on the hex USD pair as well as the hex BTC pair. So we're gonna be covering all of that and more. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of quantitative and technical analysis. Be subscribed by the end of the video if you haven't already. And let's go ahead and analyze this fractal. So it's quite obvious by now that on the hex USD pair we had you could call this an ascending triangle or some people have also called it a cup and handle right essentially we have this level of resistance around the 1.4 penny region more or less and again we had a resistance on it one two three you could call this four times until we finally had a convergence of support not only this horizontal support but if you look at our exponential fit our exponential a regression model then you also know that this was also uh, exponential support so convergence of support was a huge sign for this current run-up we had but why am I bringing this up right well we broke all-time highs on hex USD pretty much in I mean you could call it uh, April or May we've, we've had all-time highs being printed more often than not all right and if you look at the hex Bitcoin pair it's slightly a different story because it's much easier to outperform the dollar, the US dollar, than it is to outperform Bitcoin. And that's illustrated here on this chart. But nonetheless, we did cover, if you remember, there are videos where we covered before this fully played out was this fractal, right? Where it's not completely obvious, but if you look at it closely, you see that we had a bottoming formation, right? Triple bottom here, double bottom over here, followed by a bullish formation. Over here in September through October, the hex BTC pair had this, you could call this a bull flag, you could call this an ascending triangle. On the USD pair, it was clearly an ascending triangle. On the BTC pair, again, you could call this a, a bull flag if you'd like. It essentially characterized by a move to the upside, followed by a sideways consolidation period, and then we had our blast off. And then similarly over here, not in the exact same region, because back here it played out between the 20 and 40 Satoshi region, but rather this recent one, again, we had our double bottom and then it followed by a bullish formation. You could call this a bull flag, which formed over the range of 15 to 40 Satoshis, right? So a slightly bigger range compared to this one and a slightly bigger formation, if you can tell. Uh, this one formed over the course of, you know, about a month. However, this one formed over the course of you know, like a month and a half. So a little slower, a little bigger, but nonetheless, we even went as far as showing our bars pattern in a previous video where if we were to play out exactly what had happened back here, and we did this before it actually played out by the way, so we kind of called this, if you remember. We had our bull flag and essentially, we actually hit our target of 100 Satoshis. Not only that, we actually went past it, okay? And this that brings us to our point where the hex USD pair already has been printing all time highs Hex BTC pair lagged because it's harder to outperform Bitcoin than it is the dollar with any given crypto. However, we did break all time highs of around 110 Satoshis all the way to about 146 Satoshis we reached a few days ago and we came back down and it looks like we're actually testing our 100 Satoshis as support. I like to see this where it used to be these wicks to the upside followed by a huge dip, whereas now you're seeing these wicks to the downside which generally are a bullish sign when you have long wicks to the downside. And it's looking like, actually, if we close the day above, what is this? Above 124 Satoshis, we could be looking at, not a bullish engulfing, right? Because they have the same bottom, but nonetheless, things are looking bullish. And in, generally speaking, once price on any asset holds previous all-time highs as support, Let's get rid of this fractal that we were discussing to show you what I mean, right? You could say, you could call it uh, this top of this wick, or we're on a daily chart. You could look at these candles as well. But more or less, we came back down to test it, wicks through this previous resistance region, and now it's looking like it could be ready to test even higher regions, right? Not financial advice. Again, your generic disclaimer before this video but things are looking good on the hex Bitcoin pair, in my opinion. And now we get to the actual beef of this video, which is not the hex USD pair breaking all time highs, not the hex BTC pair breaking all time highs, but the fact that we could still have plenty of room to grow here on the hex Ethereum 
valuation, okay? And the fractal we discussed on Bitcoin played out where this region had a, a fractal play out similar, you know, the, the recent move was a fractal playing out similar to this region over here, whereas it's slightly different on the Ethereum pair, in my opinion, this is what I wanted to get at. Whereas this current fractal we're seeing, oh, let me get rid of these lines. These were, these were old lines, okay? This current fractal we're seeing could be not this, right? But rather this over here. Now, if you see the similarities, comment down below because I'm not sure how many people are actually talking about this, right? And I actually talked about in a, in a prior video how I did compare this region to this region on the USD chart. However, seeing it as well on the X Ether valuation is, is, as I like to say, it's convergence of models, right? Once you see your models converge, it's generally a, a good indicator of the validity of those models. And so what do we see? Well, we had our bullish formation start forming around the, what is this, the 4,000 Gwei region all the way to the 17,000 Gwei region or so before a 40% dip on this hex ETH pair. If we use our magnet tool and our, our price range, you can see that it was approximately a 40% dip, right? And again, over here, we're actually forming this similar, you could call this a bull flag, right? Where you have a move up, a small dip, followed by, you know, another move up. And so we have this bull flag again between the 4,000 and 17,000 Gwei region. Whereas over here, it's actually playing out between the 5,000 and 17,000 Gwei region. So it looks like the floor, so to speak, moved up by about a thousand Gwei compared to this move. However, we had a similar 40% dip. If you look at the top to the bottom of this wick here is actually a 32% dip. So I think this is bullish because not only are we forming our, our floor of this bull flag where we started the pull of it a little higher, but the dip has been a little more shallow on the hex ether pair. And that's probably because of the fact that hex was, you know, going up and staying sideways while Ethereum, Bitcoin and the rest of crypto is actually dipping, right? The floor was lava the other day, yet hex was hex was green. And so that that's generally a good sign for hex ether and hex Bitcoin pairs. Um, and so what happens next? Well, I don't have a crystal ball, but if we look at historically what's happened, well, if this fractal were to play out exactly, uh, or even just similarly, let's see what it would look like. All right, let's take it from here. Just a rough estimate where we have our flag, right? We have our dip. And again, it's not it's not perfect, right? But it's it's pretty similar where you have your move up in a similar region, you have a similar dip, and then we continue moving up. So what would that put us at if we were to actually fully play out this fractal? Well, we would be looking at about 34,000 Gwei. And that's a little over double where we are now. Okay. So that would put hex at around the, you know, the 10, 11 penny region or so, which Again, it's not out of the cards, given things like the regression rainbow, we've seen liquidity, we've been covering all these things in videos recently. And so this ge generally, I think this looks like a good sign. And also notice this wick to the downside, right? It's a little more bullish than back here where we actually had full daily candles. Here we're having wicks, so it looks like strong uh, buy support. So not only that, Right. Not only the fact that we could reach previous all time highs, but as you can see on the hex USD pair, we blasted through them. Right. Our previous all time high was around one and a half pennies. We actually actually reached around a little over six pennies. So we pretty much four X our all time high. On Bitcoin, we didn't four X all time high yet. Right. I don't know what's going to happen. This looks good and tells us we might be able to do something similar to a 4X above all time high. But again, I'm not, I can't guarantee that. However, that would look like, you know, 400 Satoshi uh, a hex, which again, it's not out of the cards because we've talked about the fact that supply dynamics, inflation dynamics are way different than before big payday, which was around here. And so everything to the, let's draw a vertical line here real quick. Everything to the right of this line is essentially it's uncharted territories, right? Where on the left of here, we had a ton of sell pressure from inflation, from hyperinflation. 
However, today, uh, starting November 19th up to today and into the future, supply dynamics are completely different. So you could you could argue that this is just like a completely different chart, right? Had our accumulation, and now let, you could say we had our first impulse move up, and we'll see what happens from here, right? So again, we broke all time highs on USD, four X above. We broke all time highs on Bitcoin, and so we could potentially break all time highs on Ethereum, which would be very bullish, right? Four X above all time highs on Bitcoin would what would that look like? Well, it would look like a it would be a 4x from here. It would look like a 20 cent hex. Whereas, what would it look like on the Ethereum pair? Well, that would be, you know, four times 37,000 guay. So that would be closer to like 150,000 guay, which given where we are now at 15,000, it could be another 10x, right? So things are getting a little bullish. And again, it's harder to outperform Ethereum than it is to outperform Bitcoin because we've seen the ETH BTC pair go absolutely parabolic recently, uh, getting near the 0.1 level, right? So what are we saying? We're saying that if hex BTC follows hex USD, then we could be looking at a 20 cent hex. If if we break out on the hex ether pair, reach all time highs, we could be looking at, again, a 10 cent hex. And if we 4x above that, we could be looking at something like a, you know, a 10x in USD price, which would be a what did I say? Like a 50 cent hex. So things are looking good. Uh, again, the main, main beef of this video was this fractal that could be playing out. So without getting ahead of ourselves too much and calling for 50 cent hex, right? Let's, let's take things one step at a time and say, well, our first target, so to speak, is this all time high on the, on the ether pair, which again, just to remind you is around 38,000 guay. And, and over here you could argue, 32,000 guay. And if you even plot this, you could look at, well, this fractal playing out would take us back to these levels. And I don't think it's unlikely given the fact we've broken out on these other pairs. So things are looking good in my opinion. That's the fractal I wanted to cover for you. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of quantitative and technical hybrid analysis. I know I didn't cover quantitative in this video, uh, but Definitely check out the rest of the videos if you haven't already. Plenty of good content. Actually updated real quick before we end the video. Updated uh, lookintohex.com. So check it out if you haven't already. First link in the description. We updated our we update our regression rainbow daily. Hex BTC daily. Hex versus ETH daily. ROI from launch. And the moving average heat maps, I like to update about once a week. So it recently got updated. You can see we're in the, you know, the green level here on the 100 day moving average weekly heat map. And as well, we have actually reached pink on these other ones, which again, these don't have the data of the first parabolic run up. So I don't know how useful these bottom two are, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, I'm, I'm particularly biased towards this first chart, but again, nonetheless, include them all so you can use your own discretion, interpret them as you will. But that is the video for you. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe by definitely by now if you haven't already. Let's get to 1800 subscribers, guys. We blasted through 1700. Let's get to 1800 and turn on post notifications. Be notified of every video. I drop a video every single day on Hex, Pulse, what, what be it. Yesterday's video on Pulse was actually received very, very well. So thank you guys for, for that as well. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.